Hi, my name is Allegra Pieri, and today I'll be presenting on managed aquifer recharge, installation, and early evaluation of two infiltration galleries in Northeast Arkansas. So the problem we face is that the Mississippi River alluvial aquifer is being depleted at alarming rates, creating a ton of depression around the Cache River area centered around Wiener, Arkansas. Additionally, the aquifer can't keep up with the current groundwater extraction rates due to the confining clay layer, which limits natural recharge. Banded aquifer recharge is used to enhance quality and quantity of groundwater and, inf and infiltration galleries were the chosen method of managed aquifer recharge for this study. Infiltration galleries are trenches excavated to a permeable material filled with gravel that recharge groundwater through internal plumbing connected to a water source. Each trench built uh, was, was 5.2 meters deep and the bottom 1.9 meters is filled with gravel. So they're trapezoidal in shape. So the bottom dimensions are 15.2 by 1.5 meters and the top dimensions are 19.5 by 6.1 meters. There's a uh, filter fabric on the sides of the trench and also on top of the gravel fill, which is meant to prevent clay and silt um, fines from entering the gravel area, which could cause clogging. Galleries have internal plumbing and installed at the base of, the gallery, of each gallery were three gallery monitoring ports, three visometers, and three lysimeters. The monitoring ports and visometers were installed to monitor water levels within the galleries and below the galleries, and the lysimeters were installed for water sample collection to monitor water quality below the galleries. Installed uh, below the surface of the gravel were three inflow ports and one horizontal perforated distribution pipe. Inflow ports are where recharge water enters the galleries and the horizontal perforated distribution pipe is how water gets distributed evenly along the base of each gallery. There's a QR code beneath figure three with a time-lapse video of the galleries being constructed if you're interested. Figure four displays the results of the soil texture analysis from soil samples collected at different depths during excavation. At around 3.9 to 5.2 meters, um, the soil texture turns to permeable sand which is why we positioned the bottom of the galleries to be 5.2 meters deep for enhanced infiltration. Figure six displays the results of the infiltration test uh, using the encased falling head procedure. These tests were conducted at the bottom of the sandy gallery floor directly after excavation. These results were helpful with calculating an inflow rate in, or in order to not overflow the galleries. The distribution system includes an intake area where three bilge pumps are attached to the float structure with flexible PVC tubing installed to accommodate for the reservoir's changing water levels. Flexible PVC tubing lines connect to three holding tanks at the top of the levee ridge. Water gravity flows from the top of the holding tank to the inflow ports of the galleries through elevated PVC lines. The QR code beneath figure five contains more diagrams and photos of the distribution system. Research plans for this project include water quality sampling along the entire flow path of recharged water in order to quantify changes in quality during infiltration, which is also shown in figure seven. And then um, recharged water movement in the Vado zone will be tracked through soil moisture sensors and electrical resistivity tomography sur surveys, also known as ERT surveys. Um, infiltration rates will also be evaluated within the galleries using water level loggers and flow meters and aquifer recharge estimates will estimates will be made using the deep groundwater monitoring wells. I'd like to thank the many collaborators working on this project, such as USDA, Agriculture Research Service, NRCS, and USGS, and also the farmers for offering their land um, for us to use for this pilot study.